Were you part of the crush? Did you get the wind knocked out of you? Is that why you passed out? No, I got dizzy before anything happened. And what about the vomiting? I don't know why. Did you buy candy? Or that horrible buttered popcorn? You know, that's not even butter. No, I didn't eat anything. Everywhere you go, junk food. When I was a teenager, I thought I could eat whatever I wanted. Of course, I got fat. All right, well, your heart's regular. Your lungs are clear. How's the nausea now? A little better, maybe. I don't know, I just always feel kind of blah. What about that meal I packed you? Did you eat that? I make her healthy options, she won't eat them. They're gross sides, they make me feel bad too. Okay, let's run some tests and see what comes back. Food allergies, infections, these could lead to extended periods of nausea. The nurse will be in to draw your blood. Give me some baseline labs, CBC, CMP, prealbumin, mag, UA, HCG, a urine tox, and find me Dr. Charles. Thanks. The nurse will be with you in five minutes. Dr. Charles. This poor fella in here. Agoraphobic. Pick today of all day to go to the movies. I know you're busy. I just need a quick consult. I've got a 16-year-old patient, emaciated, persistent nausea, but her blood works normal. No food allergies, she's not pregnant, and her mom's all over her about food. She has all the indicators of anorexia. Eating disorder is so tricky to diagnose. I've seen it before. My best friend in college, she was anorexic, starved herself to death. Her mom, just like this one. Terrible disease. You're pretty sure it's what we're dealing with here? Mm-hmm. Let's take a look. Great, this way. Ashley, Mrs. Cole, this is Dr. Charles. I've asked him to consult. I am so sorry about the awful day you've both been having, but Ashley, I understand you're not feeling well and haven't been for a while. Some tummy issues? Yeah. So you and food not on the best of terms right now? I love food. I just can't eat it. Why is that? It makes me throw up. Any food in particular or? Everything. Well, that's no fun. Makes me nervous just thinking about eating. I don't blame you. Are you a gastroenterologist? No, I'm a psychiatrist. No, no, <laughs> this isn't that. It's her body that's in trouble. What if? I were to give Ashley something to make her not feel sick. Do you think you might be able to eat then? I guess so. You know, FDA has just approved a new anti-nausea drug. Remarkable results in clinical trials. You should be able to eat anything you want. Anything. A hamburger with fries. Yes, she can't take all that grease. Mmm, cafeteria grills a pretty mean burger. We could give one a try. Sure. Ashley. Mrs. Cole, could I get you to, to go with me on this one? Okay, yeah, I suppose. Great. I have some samples up in my office. I'll have them sent down, and then we'll order you that burger. Nice to meet you both. Just hang tight. Hey, what's the name of that medication? I got a board member in my office in five seconds. Page me at burger time. This is so good. Mm. Honey, please, don't eat so fast. <laughs> no, I'm fine, really. She's gonna be sick. Here. <coughs> I knew all that grease would make her sick. So much for your magic pill. You okay? Has it passed? I'm sorry, Ash was having such a tough time, but, uh, her response has actually told us a great deal. I should hope so. Dr. Charles? Dr. Manning, be right back. OK, honey. I'm going to be OK. What did you give her? A Tic Tac. A Tic Tac? Yes. You gave my patient a placebo? Yep. That's not ethical. Oh, walls. Look, nausea, no nausea. I now have a much clearer picture of what's going on. I needed to get around mother and see that girl eat. No, I could report you. I should report you. Dr. Manning, get rid of bias confirmation. What? Bias confirmation. Interpreting information so that it conforms to one's preconceptions. Look, you walked in, saw a thin 16-year-old girl with an overbearing mother who reminded you of your college roommate, who very tragically died of anorexia. So voila. The patient has anorexia. She has the indicators. She also has the contraindicators. If the mother were that overbearing, she never would have allowed Ashley to choose that particular meal. And if Ashley were anorexic, she never would have eaten it. 
let alone with such gusto. The mother is right. It's Ashley's body that's in trouble, and that is your department. Thank you.